today I'm talking about overthrowing the tyrant within self. The tyrant that demands perfection. The tyrant which is not compassionate, which is selfish, very demanding, which always needs things to be exactly one way. And if not, you die. Overthrowing that part of self allows room for compassion, understanding, love, acceptance, and freedom. Freedom to be your true self. And it makes space for blessings in in life. Under living under a tyrant is very restricting. It is limiting. It's scary. You know, living in fear is is very. It's it blocks the blessings. As simple as that. And it blocks our vision because all we can see is the tyrant as the ruler, the one that makes everything to be whatever it is, gives the directions. That's all we see. So to overthrow the tyrant and free ourselves to allow for our true Lord to be on the throne. (sighs) That's freedom. And in that process, it is similar to being in the wilderness because it is scary to have been used to following the tyrant's way to now learning how to live a new, uh, strive on a new path in order to reach that promised land, that land of the free, where it comes with blessings by, by being obedient to God, to God's guidance and learning how to trust that part of ourselves without that fear it's very liberating although it's scary because it is something different at the same time there's peace in it because there's no longer that fear of dying by the hand of the tyrant so We must have that courage to overthrow the tyrant. We must pray for the words that we need to speak to ourselves, to that tyrant, just like Prophet Musa, peace be upon him, just like Moses did when talking to Pharaoh, unsure of what to say and not sure if he can actually even do it he prayed for the strength god guided him gave him exactly what to say and what to do and he was successful the tyrant is going to be stubborn very arrogant and it won't be easy it will take courage and persistence but with faith it will be done. So I'm continuing on this journey of having overthrown that tyrant. And I am growing in faith as I continue on the path towards the promised land.